Hello. Welcome to the channel. Today is July 31st. This episode is related to Ehang. In this episode, we are going to share our observations and comments about Ehang and its activities in Indonesia. First, about Ehang Twitter post related to EH216 Urban Area Point-to-Point -point Flight Demo at Jakarta International Expo, JXPO, in Indonesia. Today, Ehang has just submitted a Twitter post about the event. The post says, An unprecedented overseas point-to-point -point flight demo in an urban area. EH216 performed the flight demo at JXPO in Indonesia's buzzing capital Jakarta. Hundreds of guests and reporters witnessed the event, including the special staff to the President of Indonesia. Let's see the related photos. This photo shows the corresponding point-to-point -point flight in the urban area. This photo shows officers of Ehang's local partner Prestige Aviation being interviewed by the media. This photo shows the EH216 AAV visited by the media and audience. It is noted the point-to-point -point flight demo in an urban area is the first in overseas. The flight was originally planned to carry passengers, as mentioned in a previous episode. But Ehang's local partner Prestige Aviation could not obtain the passenger carry permit in time for the occasion. Next, let's see more about the flight and related items from the local media on Compass.com. EH216 point-to-point flight at JXPO and local media coverage. This flight has been associated with 2022 Pericle Indo-Electric Vehicle Show, PEVS, exhibition at JXPO. Two routes, first, point A to point B, second, point B to point A. Conducted by Prestige Aviation, the Ehang 216 flying taxi took off for the first time through two routes in the JXPO Kemeoran area. Two routes were tried, the first was from point A to point B, the second was from point B to point A as the return. Flight carrying dummies as large and heavy as humans. Inside there were dummies as heavy and as large as humans, reflecting as if there were passengers inside. Hopefully in the future we can test fly with humans, said Rudy Salim, executive chairman of Prestige Aviation. Passenger carrying permission still in the process. It is noted that the Ehang 216 flight test conducted at JXPO is still without passengers. This is because there is still no official flying permit related to the flying car. According to law, UU, number 1 of 2009 concerning flights in Indonesia, the existence of Ehang is still being studied. So whatever has been done regarding Ehang, it is still in the process or permission from the aviation world in Indonesia, said Combs Danny Surdani as head of subdirectorate of Patdurga Dipulutra Corpolarid Baharkam Polri, on the same occasion. At the moment, the time frame for obtaining the permission is unknown. The process may take a while and may also be dependent on the completion and issuance of the EH216 type certification by CAAC. Rudy also continued, once the Ehang flight permit is issued, his party will immediately supply hundreds of passenger autonomous aerial vehicles. This is the quote. Once the permit is issued, we will supply hundreds of units. Rudy Salim, Executive Chairman of Prestige Aviation. Prestige Aviation is inspired to reduce the traffic congestion in Jakarta City and other Indonesia cities. These photos show the severity of the traffic congestion in Jakarta City. In the future or long term, EH216 is expected to provide an effective solution for reducing the congestion and the associated emission pollution. In the meantime, particularly the short term, with respect to the stock market, high reward is also associated with high risk. This also applies to Ehang. The timing is critical. But, no one knows the exact timing. Both patience and caution is needed. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.